Hi everyone, Emily Drury here is your host of NASDAQ Spotlight. Thanks for joining us. Today we have a special guest, the brand new winner of the 3M and Discovery Education Young Scientist Competition. Cara Fan, all the way from San Diego, California. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. So congratulations, first of all. This has been a really exciting week for you. Yeah. Can you tell me about the project that you submitted to the competition? So I submitted a project called Nano Silver Liquid Bandage and I used nano silver to kill bacteria in the form of a liquid bandage. So where did this idea come from? So a long time ago, when my grandma, she had an infection and she was taken to the emergency room. And then after that, she was given antibiotics, which saved her life. So I decided to do a project based off of antibiotics. And what has this experience been like for you? It's been really fun. So you started and you decided that you wanted to enter and you worked on this project. Yeah. Well, you worked on it all summer, right? Yeah, basically. That's awesome. Um, so when did you discover that you had a passion for science? Um, I think it was a long, like a few years ago when I went to a hands-on chemistry class and we just did like a lot of fun activities. But even though we didn't really learn anything, it's just really fun. Yeah. yeah. So is chemistry your favorite? area of science or is there another one? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> which which type Probably of Probably biology. Biology. Yeah. That makes sense and that, that fits yeah. in with your project, yeah. right? So what was it like to um, meet all of the other kids who were in the competition? It was really cool. The other kids were really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And very smart. Just yeah. Like you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So what do you plan to do next? You're going back to back to school like yeah. like ordinary? And yeah, and I'm probably just going to do like other competitions as well. Fantastic. Yeah. So as for this project, um, will, it, will it keep moving forward? I might, yeah, I might. But I might like change it up a little bit okay. to make it more complicated. More complicated? Yeah. Because oh. right now I'm just testing it on regular bacteria, but I might want to test it on like more dangerous bacteria. Wow. I, I, so I don't totally understand the science behind it, okay. but can you give us another um, list some more details on kind of how you discovered um, the solution to your project? Okay, so copper and silver have been known to kill bacteria, and I just wanted to incorporate that into a liquid bandage. That's it, yeah. So what, were you in a lab? What was kind of the discovery process for you? Yeah, so I made the nanoparticles by myself at home. Well, yeah, I made it at home and we just tested it on many different kinds of bacteria to see if it would work or not. Very cool. What was the feeling like when you figured out that it, that it would work? It was really cool because at first we used copper and it didn't work at all, so we had to change it to silver and it actually worked. That was really cool. Amazing. What a good feeling. Yeah. Again, it's so exciting that you won this competition and congratulations. Mm -hmm. So at NASDAQ, um, we're focused on the concept of rewriting tomorrow, so um, innovating uh, today, so for the future ahead. So you're part of that future. What does it feel like to be um, one of the young leaders in, in the science industry? It feels really good, actually. Awesome. And, and you hope to be a full-time scientist someday? Um, I might want to be a doctor or something like that. Okay. You've got time to figure yeah. out. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for, for coming in today, and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, NASDAQ followers. Emily Jury here from NASDAQ Market Site for another episode of NASDAQ Spotlight. Stay tuned for more videos on our Facebook page.